In this video I'm going to give an example of installing Genoma. It's relatively straightforward to install and so uh, I think this video will show how uh, simple it is. First of all I'm going to use a, a virtual machine. The reason for this is just to show that how uh, I can install Genoma from scratch without having anything specific previously installed. And uh, I'm just going to use uh, a Lucid Ubuntu uh, virtual machine and I'm using Vagrant here and uh, this is just me creating the uh, uh, virtual machine earlier. So I'm going to uh, uh, SSH into this virtual machine here and all you really need to install Genoma is Ruby gems and you can test you have gems by just typing the gem command here and you can you really need uh, the latest version of Ruby Gems. So this here is 1.6.2, and what I want is 1.8 at least. So I do that by doing sudo gem update system, and that will install um, the latest version of Ruby Gems. It takes a couple of seconds. Um, the important thing uh, to point out is that most systems already come installed with uh, Ruby Gems now. So it's relatively to update the latest version of RubyGems and then you can install uh, Genoma using RubyGems. And RubyGems is just a package management system for the Ruby programming language which uh, Genoma is written in. So first of all, uh, the command um, you type is gem install Genoma. Now this is not going to work and I'll explain why. I just let that run and it's going to fail. And you see it says I don't have permissions to write into this directory here. Now if I did uh, sudo um, uh, gem install genoma, so that's the previous command with sudo installed, that would work except genoma would be installed to the system directory and that's generally not a very good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my uh, bash profile which is just a profile um, for your uh, system settings and um, I'm going to add export gem home equals gems and so if you're not familiar this is the my working directory this tilde sign I'm just going to say that I want all my ruby gems installed in dot gems here and that's it and I need to source that and now I can um, test that that has been correctly set up by using echo on that variable and now I can see so this is set so my present working directory is um, home vagrant and I'm now set I want my ruby gems installed in home vagrant gems so now if I go back to the original command gem install genoma that should work now and so all that does is it goes and fetches the latest version from um, Ruby Gems. These are all the libraries that um, Genoma is dependent on. So here, Bio is the um, um, is the Bio Ruby library, and you've got a couple here. Scaffolder is a previous library, writ and uh, and so these are all being installed in um, the .gem directory. And so you, by using Ruby Gems, it takes care of all the package management. So you just need to run that single command, and then everything else that is required by um, Genoma is installed. So I'll just let that uh, finish running. And then uh, that will install everything I need. And so you can see here, um, installed um, Genoma 0 0.0.08, .08, which is the current latest version I'm uh, writing this podcast, uh, writing this uh, video for. And um, it's taking a while to run. I can just actually uh, skip. So that's just installing the documentation. I don't uh, need to wait for the documentation to install. So I just start a new window here and SSH into it again. And if I go to that directory I created, you can see all these files are created and then there's another subdirectory gems and you can see Genoma here has been installed there 
So now, if I, to use Genoma, I just type the command Genoma, and that's not going to work. And the reason is, is because you need to make sure that the directory where all the commands are, so here it's in this case it's bin, so if I show the contents of that directory, that's the um, Genoma command here, and I want to make sure that's on my path. So one more thing to do is to edit my profile again and make sure my path includes um, make sure my path includes that directory. So it's gems bin and I've not written that correctly. And I'm gonna put path here so that previous path is added on. So if I source my profile file and I echo path, oops, that is now, so dot gems bin is in my path. And so if I do genoma now, I have the, you can see the genoma command is working. And so if I then wanted to, I could then um, uh, create a new project and if I do that here you can see I've just this is the genome project here and do that again and you can see all the genome files are created here and so that's that's uh, that's how easy it is to install um, genome on your system